question will begin with Mr. Lohr, and it's on budget. Uh, what are your budget priorities, former said? We work on budget every year, and it's very important that, for me, uh, we need to engage our citizens, neighborhood, to participate in our budget priority also. At the same time, we need to make sure that we have good dollar in business development so that we can start really start working with UC Merced and other institution that will bring job, quality job, high paying job into Merced. At the same time, we need to uh, work, prioritize our crime prevention program. I would put more money into our senior volunteer program so that they can go out to the school to really engage our fourth, third, fourth, fifth grade student. We are in the competition with gang members to recruit these youngsters and we need to start early and I need to put more money into our volunteer program so that they can at the police department so that they can start working with these young people. Thank you. Mr. Murphy. Um, as mayor, my priorities for the budget are that it's number one balanced, that the process is collaborative and that it's transparent. So. Um, when I took office, the, the city was uh, spending about $2.5 million in deficit spending each year, and uh, all the low-hanging fruit had been picked, meaning that none of the tough decisions were really made. Um, I've always um, only voted for balanced budgets, and I've sharpened my pencil every time to make sure that it is. Um, you know, bringing calculators and, and pencils to budget meetings when not everyone um, came prepared that way. Um, in terms of collaborative, town hall meetings um, are... are they're for a reason, so we can hear input from people that really want uh, to have their voice heard by their elected officials. And transparency. Um, I champion the effort to have the budget put online in a manner that's uh, accessible. So the budget's been available online for some time, but um, it was a long, you know, 500-page PDF document that you had to, you know, take forever to download on a, on a, if you had a slow internet connection. Um, it's much more accessible now through our partnership with OpenGov. And you can see where every dollar is spent. All of our tax dollars are spent and where all of our revenue comes from. Um, that is, that's hugely important to me. In terms of where the dollars are spent, I think the priorities for the city have to be economic development, public safety, and quality of life. Um, economic development is the key to everything that we want to do. That's what brings in uh, increased sales tax revenue. That's what um, gives people paychecks where they can uh, spend their money back in the city and um, makes property values go up and, and property taxes increase. Thank you. And Mr. Pedroso. Thank you. Um, th this is something that I think about quite a bit because budget sustainability is something that is incredibly important to me. I'm the only person up here on this dais that has had to vote to lay off uh, city employees. It's one of the hardest votes and decisions I've ever had to make, but it's something that needed to be done because the city of Merced was drowning. We weren't in a good position, and I thought that it was something that in order to make sure that we are um, increasing our potential and doing something uh, that's going to sustain the city of Merced long term, it was something that we had to do. Um, I'm not proud of it, but I'm proud of the fact that the city of Merced is in a better position now um, financially than we were when I took office. I think um, when we look at um, when we look at budget sustainability and budget priorities, it's about being inclusive of the process and making sure that everybody feels that they have a seat at the table. We talk about you know jobs and job creation. Are we preparing ourselves for the infrastructure? Are we being able to spend the money on the infrastructure that's needed? Roads, uh, underground infrastructure to make sure that we are truly a shovel ready. Uh, community, public safety. You know, we have 84 sworn officers. We are budgeted for 91. We need to make sure that we are providing the resources through protective policing software, and those others, uh, and, and other tools that our that our, our public safety officers can use. And then youth development. How are we working working with our partners to make sure that we are providing those uh, avenues of success for them? Thank you, Mrs. Adams. Um. I agree uh, with uh, uh, Councilman Murphy that we do need to have a balanced budget. 
Um, but also, we need to make sure our departments are funded that they can adequately uh, serve the city. Um, one of our, our departments that are underfunded is the Public Works Department. Those people are still in the building that was they originally were in since the 1960s. Without Public Works, the city would not function. They do our refuge pickup, our city water. They're the ones who come out and fill the potholes. They do the, the roads, all of that. So we have to make sure that our, our departments are funded adequately, especially those that really help keep the city going. Um, another thing that we have to do is we have to look at youth programs. Uh, that's something that's been quite defunded. In fact, um, I used to be a commissioner for the city of Merced Parks and Recreation Department. And during that, we had the mobile rec. We had a lot of things that we had for kids to do, youth sports, uh, other things for the youth, and it got cut back to where it was only 1% of the budget. And then we started noticing a lot of kids getting into trouble. And so one of the things is we have to make sure our youth know that they count, that the city really values them because they are our future. And if we keep discarding our future, we're not going to have a great one. Mm -hmm. 